Hello, it's Emily from Vintage Polka Dot Shop, and I have another project. I'm working on stuffing the envelopes, and then I will finish this journal. The plan is to do it next, I swear. All I have left is the charm. So this is inspired by um, Lorette Chandler, Vintage Paper Girl, I think is her handle, and Gail Gustinelli. And this is like a million years ago, um, I think... Gail bought these from Lorette on Etsy and then she made them and it's like this flip with a bag and a pocket. I, this is not exactly how it was. I didn't even go back and watch the video. I just remember it. Now the bags I had have this window in the back and so my, pro my first prototype I had the window here as one would do and then I realized oh you know it'd be cuter um, to have it on the back because my plan is to have it hang over the edge. Now, these bags uh, I got on clearance a long time ago from Hobby Lobby. So if you're using plain bags, it'd be cute uh, glued to a page. Uh, on this journal, uh, it's getting way too chunky. I can't stop. Um, on this journal, let me see, and go straight to there. I have it go over the a edge of the page, which was my plan. So I have a journaling card in the back that's from an old um, children's book page, which I, oops. Oh, you know what I didn't do is clean out my glue. Well, this is going to be fun. I meant to do that before I started filming. Um, and then, you know, you can flip it over and I did it this way. So the little tab would show, I haven't decorated it. I don't want to decorate everything in this journal. I want to save something for the next, for the next owner. And so then you can flip it over and you've got this, which is from a vintage reader and you can unclip it and take it off and then you've got you know the pocket here in the front and then I'm not gonna pull the journaling, journaling card out because you saw it um but I just thought that was really cute and of course you could just glue it if you have a plain bag glue that and then you've got this fun flip with journaling space right here I mean you could even glue paper on here like lined paper or something so I did not do any of those things, but it's a beginning and it's just, it's always fun. This is not, as I said, not a new idea. This is from a million years ago, but it's always fun to have reminders. I think I, I really appreciate it. So I'll just clip it on there with a bulldog clip. And as I said, she's a chonky. So it's a little harder to close her. I know I can close her up and I'm not going to tie her shut. And hopefully she's out of the way over here. Knock on wood. Okay. So first thing you want to do is kind of pick out your goodies. I am using fabric scraps from my dear friend Carol, the quilter, um, for my fabric hinges, um, book pages. And then I have a scrap for the pocket, which I think uh, needs to be trimmed a little bit more. I was going to say almost trimmed it down. I wonder if this one's trimmed down. Kind of trimmed it to place. This one will work. So... Um, and then I have a ton of these uh, file index cards. You could use cardstock, just whatever you have in your stash, scrapbook paper. Um, just, you know, be inspired. Just think. So the first thing I need to do is cut these to five by eight, which is the measurement of the card, not counting this. So instead of me turning around and doing it and you can't, see anything and you just hear me go bump, bump, bump. I'm gonna pause the video and then I'll come back with them all cut up so see you in a sec okie dokie all trimmed and while I was doing that I cleaned my nozzle so we'll see if um that works better that will be fun to find out okie dokie so the next thing you want to do is take your scraps and you're gonna make a fabric hinge and you want to glue that down well you don't have to glue it down. I I'm gluing mine down on the bottom and putting the paper on top. Though I will say, since this has writing, this one might be kind of cute. Let me look, let me think out loud. Let me do off the cuff here. I mean, I could, oh, it's got stuff on it. That's okay, there's a lot here. Okay, um, I mean, I could do it that way. That would be cute and have it go down like that. Uh, yeah, let's do that one that way. We can see what it's like. And then we'll do this one with the hinge underneath. Okie dokie. So we're gonna, we're gonna try something new here. Learn something new. Oh, I guess you probably are curious. Well, Emily, 
I see you're making a fabric hinge, but how wide is it? And obviously I don't really care. Um, cause I can tell by looking at it, it's going to be wide enough. But if you, you know, want to copy exactly, it's two and a half inches and it's, that's plenty wide. You could get away with a narrower, uh, fabric scrap. So I'm just laying it on here, just kind of eyeballing it. I'm being loosey and goosey and all that good stuff. Um, matter of fact, I might have to make the inside one a little narrower because I'm doing it on the inside. I don't really, I'm not going to say that that is necessary, but I like it on the inside because then you don't have the raw side of the fabric showing like here. Plus you can enjoy the fabric. I think on this, I notice I'm getting a little here. I think I'm going to cut that down. Matter of fact, right now, right, right here in front of you. No plan. Just, just being wild and crazy. There we go. Um, well, that, I think that's better. Okay. I was getting a little bent. See, you know, as I said, I didn't go back and watch the tutorial or anything. So I just was going from memory. Um, the amazing thing is I remember uh, the story behind it, which shows you what a good impression it made, Lorette. Um, and Miss Gail Gustinelli. Uh, and I know I think I have some unfinished journals where I did something like it, but I'm sure it's completely different and I've gone off the rails, but that wouldn't be the first time. And I'm not really... I'm just kind of going by feel here. See, there's a... Uh, so it's going to be covered up by the paper. Oh, it looks like an inch and three quarters is left. So I just kind of eyeballed it here. Not going for... This doesn't need to be perfect. Though I think I am, just so it doesn't put wear on the paper. The paper is quite old. The book is from the 40s, I think. So we'll just, just to be on the safe side, make sure that that is flat all the way so it doesn't like pull on the paper. And now the fun part, but this works so much better when you clean the nozzle. Wow. And it, I've been needing to clean it for about, oh, I don't know, a month. I, it's amazing. It's like, oh, but I have to get up all the way, clean it all the way over there, walk all the way down the hallway, which is very short, into the kitchen and clean it. Oh no, it's way too much trouble. Alrighty, so, uh, and it's probably a little shorter than the index card, but I, as I said, I'm not going to worry about it. So there it is on top of the index card and see I've got a little bit sticking out so I think I'm just gonna take my skizzers trim it so it doesn't get all like dog-eared um oh how am I gonna do this one by feel maybe with that tab I can't go down the other way there we go uh, okay, I'm, I'm going into the weeds here now. I'm getting all nitpicky. I'm picking the nits. Uh, okay, just, just real quick. I know, I know, it's like making this tutorial take longer than it needs to be. No, really, I got this. I got this. Just, just, just give me one more second. I, I could do it. I could do it. There. Oh, I feel better. <sighs> okay. Now, this one, we will glue her down first, and I'm thinking... I'd like to cover up, Tom said, here, Betty, here is Patsy. And just have Betty said, my Patsy, here is my Patsy. Okay, so that is my thought. And I sure had fun going through uh, my readers. I actually did use up quite a few of them making this journal and uh, the and then the stuff pockets are going to be sell. Since I think my next video, ha ha ha, if I don't get like all squirrel fight, oh squirrel, what else can I do? Um, will be the flip through of the journal. And when I do the flip through, that's when I'll have the details on how you can win it. I'm going to use it for a giveaway. I don't know if I said that or if I was being coy, um, but I'm saying it now. So uh, if you're on my email list, I will send out an email when the video posts. Um, I guess in theory, YouTube will tell you if I um, post a new one. Um, 
you know, I don't know if the algorithm will show you or not, but I'll put it on my Instagram and I'll send out an email because I want as many people to enter the giveaway as, as possible. And I'm going to tell you something just between you and me. Um, I don't have a lot of people that enter my giveaway. I mean, it's a good amount. I'm not complaining, but I'm, I guess my point is if, if you feel like, oh, I, I wouldn't, what are the odds of me winning? Well, they're probably about 100 to 1. I usually get about 100 entries of people that follow the directions, um, I should say. So, you know, if you're feeling lucky, I mean, it's not like the mega bucks, but, you know, it's a journal that I'll mail to you. Um, then I made, and I had fun. Uh, and I was thinking of you or the next owner, and there's lots in there left to play. So I'm just going to throw that out there but not this one of course but when I do the flip through um but I just wanted to kind of give that little tip I'm gonna use this here is Patsy as my kind of my line of how far down to glue I'm sure I'm gonna have to go back um and kind of lift up the fabric uh you know what I mean to get it down flat but it's a start and that's what we like we like just to have a start and I don't think this is 100% straight fabric, but that's okay. Okay. I mean, I'm not really worrying about it. That's cute. Do I want to go down a little bit further? Oh, I don't know. Oh, see, now I've made it all definitely not straight because I pulled it down with the glue. That's okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, and I made it a little bit longer. So I'm going to go into the weeds again and trim it. But I don't really, I'm not going to say that's necessary because I don't think it is. It's just personal preference. Alrighty, so while that, the little hinges are drying, we're gonna take our bags. And because, like some bags, when you get them, the back will be taller than the front. And that's not the case here. And I decided on my prototype, I didn't do it, but I decided it's easier to get things in and out if you have a little cutaway. So. I'm just going to lay this. Oh, I got a cough. Excuse me for a second. <coughs> I got a dry bit in the back of my throat. I need this a little closer to me. So I'm going to move you closer. So I don't know. What do you think? Let's do three quarters of an inch. I don't remember. Let's take a look. What did I do on my on this one? Should we see? Uh, of course, I just... Yeah, I did like uh, three quarters on that. So... Oh, and look, I didn't fall into the weeds on that one. The paper's going past the edge. So there you go. Um, and this is the back, but it's going to be my front or middle. Um, so, you know, just depends on what bag you're using. These bags, I just had them. I've hardly used them. Um, and I'm trying to be good and use what I have. I love buying craft supplies. I always tell people, it's like, I have two different hobbies that are related. And that is buying craft supplies and crafting. Um, I find it very inspirational to have new supplies. They, they like get the creative juices going. Um, plus it's just fun to gather them and dream about the projects I may or may not get to. Um, Matter of fact, I'm going to do, in a couple of days, I'm going to do an Etsy haul because I have some really cool things that I haven't even, I, two of the boxes I haven't opened yet. Um, they're my reward for when I get this done. Um, like a little carrot for myself. And you now when I, so anyway, I just want to share some of them with you because they're so cool. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut that. And I guess we could do this one so it's, like the same, maybe? Can we? Can I do that? Uh, we're gonna do all the, all the gussets, all the things. You know what, I think it's easier not to worry about it. I just, there, I said it. Okay, let's do the other one. Oh, my ruler has a little dent in it and apparently I managed to cut the dent a little bit. I mean, it was there when I drew it, but. Okay, so what did we say? Three quarters, now see, I already forgot. It's so important. No, that's half. Doesn't look like half. Well, it doesn't matter. We're going to do to this line right here. It's not that important. It's just important that 
you have room to get your goodies in and out. I'm going to move my little dent out of the way. I don't remember how I did that, but probably with um, a rotary cutter. No, Amy. I, I did it like not long after I bought the ruler. <laughs> You know, why keep the ruler straight all the way when it makes life more interesting to have a dip almost in the middle? Um, you know, it's a gift. Got to keep things interesting. We wouldn't want our craft projects to be perfect or anything. Perfectly imperfect, maybe, with that charming handmade quality that machines cannot duplicate. All right. And, and we're going to make sure we don't go backwards. Oh, I'm feeling like I'm going to go backwards. I'm having a moment. Let's look. Oh, here we go. Okay. I was having one of those, like, get, you know how you overthink on things and turn yourself around? That's what I was doing. Maybe you never do that, but I do it. I'm really good at it. The overthinking part, especially. Okie dokie. So, we've got that. You could do a little notch here if you wanted. I don't think I will. I don't think I want to. So, we're going to look at the so we're gonna glue that on the back. Now you need to leave, um, uh, you know, like, can you see? I probably can't see. So you wanna leave like a gap between there so you have room for your hinge to work. So, you know what? I don't always do this, but I'm feeling today, I need to help myself. So we're gonna draw just a little line for me for the glue. And you're going to want to kind of go light. You want a good coverage, but not so much that it will be bloppy when it dries. Um, you know what? If it does blop, one thing you could always do, which would be so cute, is put like Rick Rack or something over it. Um, it doesn't have to, you know, you can use it with lace. Uh, eyelet would be cute. You know what I mean? You could put a word or a phrase. So just kind of go with it. Don't stress about it. Alrighty, so we want to leave a little gap and we want to kind to have it line up. And we're gonna close it and kind of smoosh it. Smoosh, smoosh. And let that get a nice good dry and let the fabric sticking over. And today I'm feeling very picky, so we're gonna cut it. You know, if I was doing this tomorrow, I might leave it. Alrighty, now this one, so that's the hinge on the top, which is really cute. Matter of fact, almost thinking like a little bit of lace or something. I don't know. We'll see. It's cute. Um, and we got the bag. We're going to flip it. I don't know what I'm doing. I just did it and I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Now this one's a little narrower, which is fine. Going to leave a little space. I'm kind of looking right here and here to make sure that I'm going to show you a little closer here. So kind of here and here, I'm making sure that I'm kind of lined up. You like guys are that kind of tempting to line it up. And we'll do a little glue guide. So I like to call it a little glue guide. Um, it doesn't matter because I'm going to put fabric over that if the pencil shows. Um, but it's kind of nice to have. I, you know, otherwise I tend to get glue everywhere. That's another one of my secret magical talents. Just like with the coffee dyeing. Today, I tried avocado dyeing and did not do a very good job. So, I put the dye I had made. I'm going to try again another time. I put the dye I had made in the freezer because it was the water was cool. Um, the dye bath was cool and I thought, you know what, it, you do boiling water and I know how I'm going to do it differently and I thought it might be nice to ha like thaw it out before I do it and then I could add like room temperature or slightly cooled dye to the dye and so it doesn't dilute it. I mean, I went to all the trouble to make it. I just well try to use it. Make uh, lemons out of lemonade. Wait, lemonade out of lemons? <laughs> okay, so we're going to see that is a little bit smoochy there. But I don't think it's really going to show. And it's not dry yet. Okie dokie. So, next. See, we're just about done. We're going to put the fabric on the inside. Um, so, uh, I think this is the piece I cut off. We're just kind of eyeballing it. We're not, we're not going to be anxious or anything. 
we're gonna be cool, cool. That's a little longer than I want, so I'm gonna trim it down just a wee bit. I love this fabric. It's not old, um, though she was kind enough to give me some that was old. It's the reproduction, like 1930s fabric, and it's so cute. So what I like to do, let me bring you down. Hold on, hold on. Did you take your Dramamine today? Okay, so we're gonna, I just am gonna slide it in. Now, I need to trim this a wee bit more um, because the bag is, you know, narrower on the inside than it is on the outside. Um, and we're going to slide that in to where we want it. Now, because there is that window, sorry, I'm having a hard time here. We are struggling. Okay. Because there is a window, I'm going to have to turn this around so I can see better. Um, can you see, can you see the, see that? You don't want to go past that. You don't want your wrong side to show. So I'm going... Can you see what I did? Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? There you go. So I'm going a little bit in. Okay, hold on. I'm going to take you gently. Gently. Okay, that wasn't very gentle, but. Whee! Okay, so what I like to do first is just kind of hold my hand there. And um, I, I could mark this. That would have been smart because then I would, on the paper, then I would have known where to glue. But apparently... I'm not very with it. I'm not, this is in the afternoon. I'm not an afternoon person. Okay. Do they still have soap operas? That'd probably be a good time to watch soap operas. Okie dokie. Um, now, okay. Oh, good. It's not, it's not past the fabric on the inside. Now we can lift this up. I'm not, I'm going to try not to get any glue where the hinge is. It's not the end of the world. Do not get mad at yourself or frustrated if you do that. It's just, why not keep it soft? The glue will make it a little stiff and it will open better if it's softer. Okie dokie. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, ah. Tongue sticking out just right. And we got that in there. And then we push it down. And can you see the... So see how we got it like that. It's a little bit wrinkly, but that doesn't bother me. Said the person who was like fussing and cutting the fabric and the paper. I mean, see, I'm very inconsistent. Alrighty, so we got that one done. We've got, see, it's not showing there. And we got it cute like that. And then we've got it on the inside. So, and you know what? I can see that it's bent a little bit. So we're gonna just trim that. You know, maybe some more thought given to this. Maybe I need to trim this gusset all the way. What do you think? Or I could glue it, but then you don't have the gusset. We like the gusset. You can really open up and get in there. All right, so let's do this one. And we got that. Looks like it's dryish, and it did get, but I don't, I'm not going to worry about it on this dark fabric. It doesn't really matter. Um, but as I said, I you know, maybe I'll do that. Go back and add some lace or something or a uh, phrase from a book. Or I might just leave it. Okay, I got to turn this around. I can't see what I'm doing. Alrighty. Okay, we're going to trim this a little bit. As I said before, very profoundly and wisely that the inside is narrower than the outside. I mean, that's just science. Alright, so we're going to put this in there. And, and that one, can you see? So we were careful and, and yeah, I think it's cute to have it. So it goes, so the bag, um, you know, so you don't see it through the top of the bag either. We're going to try to be thoughtful here. We'll try. And once again, I did not mark this like I could have to make, um, a glue line for myself. Wouldn't that have made life easier? Well, you know, it's interesting anyway. All right. So I'm just kind of. And you could do stitches around this if the little threads bother you. Um, that'd be cute. You could zigzag around there. Or as I said, you could cover it up with uh, rick rack or paper or just, you know, another piece of paper on top of this for journaling space. The world is your oyster. The ideas are endless. Um, that's actually not bad. Okay, so now we're gonna open this up. Oh, it's close. 
It's close to showing, but it ain't showing. And I'm putting the glue on the fabric and not on si inside the bag because I know myself well enough to know that I would glue the bag shut on accident, of course, not on purpose. Um, there we go. Push that down, let the glue ooze into place. Alrighty, how, how are we doing here? That looks good. Don't see the wrong side on the outside. Now, of course, if your bag doesn't have a window, then you can just do whatever the heck you want. You don't have to worry about things showing. It just dawned on me, Emily, not everybody's gonna have these bags because Hobby Lobby cleared them out a long time ago. Or maybe you have bags with a different window, um, like a coffee bag or something. Okie dokie. And last but not least, I'm gonna back you up a little bit, so hold on. Hold on to your surface there, there so you can see. Um, now the easy peasy part, we're just gonna glue that down. Um, now, is this, I trimmed it. You know what, we're gonna, I'm gonna do the thing again where I'm in the weeds. Gosh, they're pretty much the same. Now let's make it crooked by using scissors. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so. I was thinking that, uh, you know what, this punch is about done. I need to sharpen it with some foil, but I got a really good quality one at the thrift store yesterday. So I took, I played hooky, so to speak, and went thrifting all by myself. I went to Springfield and Eugene and I had a good old time. Till my, I, I thrifted till my feet hurt. And then I was like, time to go home. My feet hurt, you know, because all these thrift stores, or at least the ones I go to, have concrete floors. But I did find some fun things for the... Some fun things to coffee dye and um, some fun things to put in my Etsy shop, which is always fun. Some fun things for my stash, like the... I got some of the really nice EK Success. Is that what it is? The punches. They're always good. Almost bought some Martha Stewart punches, but I decided I didn't really need them. But they were a fair price. They weren't like, a, you know, like, oh, I'm going to buy this because it's so stinking cheap price. But they were a good price for used ones. I, You know, you get nervous because you're like, well, is it donated because, um, you know, it doesn't punch anymore? <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the risk you take. Sometimes... There, oh, there was a thrift store in Albany, and for by the paper punches, they had paper, like, out so you could punch it and see if it worked. I thought that was very thoughtful. Obviously, the person that works there is a crafter, right? Alrighty. So, I'm going to glue this one. And I wonder if I just did a bunch of stuff off camera. If I did, I apologize. I did back you up, but I'm so busy talking, I'm not thinking, oh, Emily, did you know you're filming and it's much easier for people to do what you do, you know, to follow along if they can see? Did you know that? I, I you know, I forget that sometimes. Um, so here we go, here's that. And I apologize if I went off camera. I guess I'll find out when I go to load it up. Alrighty, that looks so cute with the fabric right there. Okie dokie. So, for the bag, I'm not sure these are gonna, what I have in mind for the bags temporarily, I don't know if they're gonna stay. Um, I have these, I'm doing these loaded stuffed pockets and I have things I've made and I have vintage things in them. And, um, and so things might get moved around because this is gonna be part of it. But for demonstration purposes and maybe for realsy purposes, these are both uh, KB and Friends. I think it's it's a summertime set, but I can't remember what. But I'll I'll link it below. Um, so cute. But I thought, oh, see, can you see what I'm doing? See, I'm just being willy and nilly again. Okay, open up your bag. I thought I trimmed these down so they fit. Mm, I need to trim it. Oh, yeah, I need to trim it down. What about this one? Does this one fit? Oh yeah, I did trim that one down. I just didn't trim the one on the... This is actually, I mean, it's sinking cute because you can, whoop, whoop, sorry. <laughs> you can, you know, see a little window peeking there. Um, and then here's another one. I think it might, I think it might be a different set. 
I think this is a, like, but anyway, uh, hold on one second. Let me just take the top. Yeah, you know, let me just slide it real quick. I know there. I knew I said I wasn't going to do it, but come on, just a couple seconds here. I want to see what it looks like. Um, but let me know if you want me to add some of these. I might have enough that I could do a couple of listings. If you want some, if you don't have any, I can do that in my Etsy shop. You know what? This would be cute too. I'm not going to do it yet, but I'm looking at this one, like little fussy cut. Oh my gosh. I, I'm sorry. I just think she just has to go there. I think Sally just needs to be there. That's one of the things I did for the um, bags is I went and I fussy cut some things from old books. But uh, yeah, I got out my die cutter, did some die cutting. Um, I've been having a lot of fun. Okay, look at that. Isn't that cute? Well, golly goodness, that means they all have to have one because we don't want any, to, do we have time? It's, Probably not. I probably should stop right now. I should stuff that pocket. Gosh darn it. Well, let me just see if I can find something super quick. Okay, look at this. Oh my goodness. It kind of blocks the whole picture, but with the red fabric and then the boys. I don't know. That's probably too big, isn't it? I wish I could hear what you're saying. You know, maybe I won't do the rest because I really need to finish this up. See what I mean about getting distracted? It's nuts. All my people are not in here. I hate I wonder where they are. I picked, they did fall on the floor, but I thought I put them all away. Oh, here's some more people. Um, see, we got a jean. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, hold everything. Look at this. Does that cover up too much? It kind of goes, doesn't it? Look, you can't see, sorry. Um, like, you know, they're racing little cars. He's racing a car. I mean, come on. Come on. We have time for this, don't we, guys? I mean, you know I'm just going to put stuff in the pocket. So if, ah, the his chair leg is bent back. Oh, come on. And I'm doing it once again off camera. Sorry. It's because I'm busy visiting and not paying attention to what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, because I'm a ding dong, I guess, or I'm a little dingy sometimes, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm going to have him at an angle going up like he's going out. There we go. So he's going to go with those guys. I guess this journaling card is staying. And do we want to put, I do have, hmm, I don't know. This one we might wait. I don't want to like just rush it to rush it, but. Now, this is from the same set, and see the little girls are, we'll do that. That's cute. Look at that. Okay, this is uh, KB and Friends, um, and it's from the same set as that. I'll put it down below. I'm sorry, I can't remember the name. I didn't, I wasn't thinking about, oh, people might want to know on camera, but I'll put it in the description um, with the link, and just a generic link to her store, because she's been listing a couple new items lately and before you know it will be time to list Halloween and fall and Christmas too which is so much fun okay so in our pockets is we've got oh that one's done <laughs> oh yeah this is done I guess I won't really worry about putting the rest so another KB and friends journaling card from a vintage book and then this is from the paper one of the paper collections I've been using and I can't remember if I cut it out from the paper or if it was a cut apart, but I just thought that was cute. So I will wrap up here because I don't think you need to watch me put stuff in pockets. I mean, riveting stuff, I know. Um, and uh, keep an eye out for when I do the flip through. When I do the flip through, that will be the giveaway. I don't think I'm going to think of anything else that I want to make a video for unless I do, you know. It, it could happen. I don't know. I don't have a plan. I'm just living it day by day. So I will see you in the next one. And let me know if you have any questions below. Thank you. Bye.